Hey guys, it's Sonali. Welcome to another session of Full STEM Ahead. In today's video, we're going to be talking about microscopes. What is a microscope? A microscope is a scientific instrument that makes things normally too small to see look bigger. They're different from magnifying glasses because they can be used to see things better and examine them correctly. People who use microscopes commonly in their jobs include doctors and scientists. Parts of a microscope. The main part of the microscope is the eyepiece, the device that you use to look at the cell or thing you're studying. The objective lenses combined with the iris diaphragm help you see the atom or cell you're looking at. The illuminator projects light so you can see what you're looking at in colors and get a better understanding. Coarse focus and fine focus are devices you use to adjust the way you see your cell. The, your cells or atoms that you're looking at are placed on the mechanical stage. Different types of microscopes. There are many different types of microscopes, but there are two main types of microscopes, the simple microscope and the compound microscope. The simple microscope has only one optical lens, so you can see at the thing you're looking at with only one eye. Whereas the compound microscope has two optical lenses, so that use both eyes so you can see what you're looking at better. What can microscopes do? Microscopes can be used to see various things and magnify them up to 100,000 times. Like if you're looking at a rock, It'll almost look like you're looking at Mount Everest. They're also used to study cells, atoms, and many other things. Who uses them? There are many people who use microscopes. Whether you're a doctor, a scientist, or a nurse, or children, like high schoolers, middle schoolers, and elementary school kids, microscopes are used to help make advancements in science and technology. Fun facts about microscopes. The earliest microscopes were known as flea glasses because they were used to study small insects. A father-son duo, Sicarius and Han Janssen, created the first compound microscope in the 1590s. That's a long time ago. Anton Lewenock created powerful lenses that could see teeming bacteria in a drop of water. Isn't that cool? Robert Hooke discovered cells by studying the honeycomb structure of a cork under a microscope. Robert Koch used a compound microscope to discover tubercule and caloria bacteria. Electron and light microscopes are much more powerful than optical microscopes and used in universities, research facilities, and in the industry today. The smallest objects observed through a light microscope is 500 nanometers long, smaller than a millionth of a meter. The costliest microscope in the world is an X-ray microscope, known as diamond in England, and costs $415 million. It has been used to study fossils and various types of germs, but I wouldn't recommend purchasing it. Anyway, thanks guys. I hope you enjoyed the video about microscopes and I'll see you next week. Bye.